For a lot of experienced 3D artists, this is not a fair comparison or even one that should be made. Houdini is in the forefront of the highest level of VFX in the world, while Blender is just now getting some recognition in medium-sized studios. Houdini is a software that were used and tested by all sizes of studios, from major Hollywood companies to small advertising companies. Demand for Houdini artists only tends to grow, which is not the case for Blender. As a Blender artist, you are likely competing with Maya, ZBrush, Cinema 4D, 3DS Max, and any other 3D package artist for the same jobs. Unless the studio you are applying to uses mostly Blender, or you are exceptionally good at what you do, you are going to lose out to a Maya artist if the job requires animation, or a ZBrush artist if the job requires sculpting, to a Cinema 4D artist if it's a job at an advertising company, especially if they do a lot of motion graphics, and lose out to a 3DS Max artist if the job is in ArcVis or, or modeling. Houdini requires a different set of skills that skills from any other 3D application don't transfer easily to Houdini. Your Blender knowledge is enough to get you started in any other 3D application except Houdini, which has a steep learning curve compared to any other application. This steep learning curve reduces competition for any 3D artist who specializes in Houdini, which is not a case for Blender. A comparison between Blender and Houdini is like comparing Photoshop to Microsoft Paint, so I have been told. However, none of this is because of Houdini's modeling and animation capabilities. Although Houdini is fully capable of doing both, you will find that Blender is way better when it comes to modeling and animation. On the point of modeling, Though Blender is better, if you plan to make a lot of objects with variations, you will find Houdini's capabilities beyond light years ahead of Blender. With Blender, you have to use traditional modeling and do everything from scratch, step by step, by vertices, edges by edges, faces by faces, are to get what you want. You can, you can still make variation in different objects, but it would be painfully slow. For any variation you make, you'd have to remake other seams to get proper UV maps for any geometry you add to your objects. If you are using any mesh data like vertex colors, UV maps, weight maps, you will lose that data or mess it up whenever you add or remove any geometry. While in Houdini, if you set up everything right, these tasks can be done on the fly automatically or procedurally. Houdini can procedurally add seams and update your UVs and also update your weight maps and, take and vertex colors uh, procedurally as you add and remove geometry. If you want to get far in this industry, I would recommend learning both Blender and Houdini. Houdini is much easier to use if you understand the 3D world properly. Having a good understanding of how polygons work and the different stages of 3D production, modeling, sculpting, UV unwrapping, texturing, shader or material generation, animation, rendering and, and finally composition will take you far in your learning of Houdini. All these fundamentals are necessary to learn for you to become a great artist. And this is where Blender beats Houdini. For a free software package, you can do every stage of production all inside Blender, something you will struggle to do in Houdini. Even when you can, for new artists, Blender is the best starting point as it does not require a large commitment in terms of money and time to learn. If you want to learn the basics of the 3D industry, you want to start with the easiest software, that is Blender. Houdini is the hardest to learn of all the 3D packages, and what makes it even harder is that it has limited learning resources compared to Blender. Houdini is really powerful for a lot of things, but also quite hard to learn and less intuitive than regular 3D programs such as Blender or Maya. Some areas such as classic modeling, sculpting, rigging, and animation are rarely or never done in Houdini, since there are better alternatives elsewhere. Another thing to add is that Houdini is not best. This is really useful for some things, but really bad for other things. To give you an example, simulations of all sorts, such as fluids, smoke, explosions, extractions, and etc. This is where nodes truly shine, but try rigging using nodes only. Blender, on the other hand, is more of a classic 3D modeling program that can do a little bit of everything. Blender is starting to become quite polished, and I can definitely see the studios will start to switch to it since it's free. We have already started seeing large and medium sized studios start using it as their main tool. A good example is, is Ubisoft. To many 3D artists, Houdini is like owning a private jet and Blender is like owning a Honda Civic. Comparing the two is unthinkable. However, owning an expensive and luxurious jet has its own perks. A private jet is as much as a transportation mean as a Honda Civic, but each is meant for a different purpose. This is the same as Houdini and Blender. Houdini is not meant to be a general purpose 3D application like Blender, and creating an entire animated film in Houdini would be a nightmare. Basic stuff like modeling or character animation are difficult in Houdini because the entire program is designed around giving you deep control rather than letting you work quickly. 
compared to Blender, which was designed to do exactly this with many short and full length movies to show as examples. So the best conclusion here is that learning both applications would be great because though Blender and Houdini are in the same industry, they're not direct competitors. They are products that complement each other. Usually when you work with Houdini, you have to complement it with a different application for animation or rigging like Maya or Cinema 4D or 3ds Max. But uh, because you have already gone into the expense of buying Houdini, Blender would be the best alternative because it's free and open source. So you don't have an added expense on top of already having bought Houdini. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.